Hey, this is Russell with Auto Paint Plus. We're here today at home in the shop working on a friend's car. We're doing a little door repair and we thought that we'd do the whole job in aerosol cans. I'll tell you, aerosols are really cool. For one thing, you put anything in an aerosol. We're gonna talk about them real quick. Uh, we can put our paint in an aerosol can, tint it first, which is great. Don't have to go down and buy some duplicolor stuff at the uh, local parts store or whatever and hope that it kind of matches. Uh, we can do that for you right there in the store if you want to do an aerosol job. We have our S1918, which is our mid coat clear, which is a great product. Uh, I think we've featured it in some other film or other videos. If not, we will soon. Uh, a 2K clear, actual catalyzed urethane clear coat. Automotive quality, it's gonna hold up and look fantastic. Really easy to use. This is a great product here. It's our 800 TS, it's a tintable sealer. It's made from the same ure, or the same base coat resin that's used for our Gen Rock base coat. And so this stuff is really neat. You can tint it any color you want. So we did a, a kind of an oxide red to go underneath this rather than the gray, which was the color of the primer. And so this stuff goes on fantastic. It goes quick, it dries fast, and it's super smooth. So we use this as our base color before we put the uh, aerosol down, or our color down. So let me talk quickly about the aerosol cans. These aerosol cans are not like the ones you buy at the, at the hardware store. These are actually adjustable. You can get a nice wide fan pattern or narrow it down to a narrow pattern, uh, depending on what you're spraying. Uh, they, like I said, they spray just like a paint gun. The adjustment here is on the top. You can also get a vertical and horizontal. So we're gonna go over here to the back of the vehicle and spray on the plastic to show you what I'm talking about. So right now, we're set up at a wide pattern, okay? Nice wide pattern, just like a spray gun. Now, if I want to narrow my pattern down, I'm gonna rotate the cap and spray down to a nice pencil. Thing is, if you listen, it doesn't just adjust the fan pattern, it also adjusts the pressure. So, low pressure, open it up, higher pressure. So again, sprays like a paint gun. Uh, uh, delivers material, great atomization, real good metallic control. So this is great for doing small jobs when you don't want to get your paint gun dirty. So here's the 800 TS, two light coats, we have perfect coverage, complete coverage, nice fogged edge here. A lot of times you're gonna get a dry edge. This stuff goes on like, like silky smooth. There's no dry edges. You can't even feel the edge right here where we, where we back mask. So this is a, like a great product for any color that you want. Yellow, blue, green, purple, it doesn't matter. We can tint it any color you want. Put an aerosol can, sprays fantastic. Now the S1918 is your mid coat clear. And you wanna put this down, if you're, especially if you're doing a blend. It does a, a number of different things. It fills in the sand scratches, which will prevent sand scratch trailing. So if you sand something and the metallics fall into it, as it dries, they'll drop into the little scratch and you'll see the metallic stand up. So we don't want that to happen. It also gives you a nice wet bed for the paint to lay down on. So it'll stick better. So you don't want dry overspray landing on a dry surface. It's not gonna stick, you can have no adhesion. Plus it can give you that halo or that bright sparkly edge. So we're going to coat the entire panel with the S1918 before we put the color on. Goes on super smooth, dries quick, so it gives you that nice, good adhesion to the panel, helps the base coat stick better and lay out nicer. So we're gonna let this flash for about five minutes or so. All right, so I have my Genrock base coat in my Genstar aerosol can. I wanna make sure, first of all, that my pattern is spraying properly and I'm not getting no splatters or anything like that. So give it a nice spray, looking pretty good. So what I wanna do, everyone has their own style of blending. <clears throat> Personally, what I like to do is keep as much overspray out of my blend zone as possible. So I blend back away from my blend area to get coverage, first of all. So I'm gonna take and burn it in this direction. So I'm gonna let that flash for a few minutes. It should dry pretty quick. But I'm gonna make those passes a couple of times until I can tell I've got pretty much coverage, complete coverage on my primer or sealer area first. Then I'll start working my way into my blend zone. So it dries pretty quick, we get a quick flash time. One thing about the Genrock base coat is it's one of the quickest flashing base coats out there. It's easy to use, 
it goes on again super smooth like satin or silk or whatever whatever smooth product you want to compare it to this stuff lays down really really nice and again metallic control is really really good so we're going to put on a second coat it just has to be one really or two really it's up to you. We got pretty good coverage on two coats. We'll probably shoot, um, we're gonna shoot a third. It may take four, but on the third we may have complete coverage and we'll do our fourth coat will be our blend out. Once you've got coverage, now what you want to do is kick that color out into your blend zone and use as much as the blend areas you need to so that you can get a nice smooth transition. Again, most automotive colors are not designed to be butt matches, they're designed to be blendable matches. So having that room to transition from your color to the color that's actually on the panel so you don't see the change is very important. So we're going to spray but we're going to kind of flick this color out on the edge as we finish our pass. All right, so that allows that metallic or pearl to lay out the wet bed from the S1918 helps it to stick and you get a nice even transition without any seeing any sparkling or modeling on the edge. So once your base coat is flash dry, which is usually about 20 to 30 minutes, then it's time to apply clear coat. Check to make sure your blend looks good. You can take a light, run it across there, see if everything looks good. There's no modeling going on. We're ready for clear coat. So the Genstar clear coat, 2K clear. Catalyzed clear coat. We take the little button off the top of the lid here, stick it on the bottom of the stem, like that. We give it a nice hard pop, bust that bladder inside, and you shake her up and she's ready to go. Remember, it's always good to test your pattern first. Who knows how these air caps are set up right now? It could be narrow instead of wide, it could be spraying funny. Okay, pattern looks good. Things pretty great. All right, so we're just gonna apply two to three wet coats on here. I prefer to put three on just to make sure. So it's just like paint with a paint gun. So here's the finished product. As you can see, perfect color match. No blends, no streaking. The way the light's coming in right now from the sun, this is the opportunity for you to see any flaws, whether it's blotchiness, poor coverage, uh, a halo, anything like that, turned out absolutely perfect. This is our rattle can clear coat here, uh, the uh, 2K Genstar clear. 
looks beautiful. This was a great job, easy cleanup. Like I said, no paint guns to clean up. You got the job done in the same amount of time or less because of the cleanup issue. Uh, we love the product and we love our aerosol cans and we can do them for you at the store. Fill any color you want, make sure it's right before it goes in the can.